The Meta Quest 3 continues to evolve and we've got some exciting new developments, particularly because of the legend that is Matt from the OpenXR Toolkit. Well, he's been collaborating with Virtual Desktop to provide a way of using wireless VR without the need for Steam VR, which is added bloatware that can hamper performance. So in this video, I'm going to test it out and give you my first impressions because it will be released officially next week. So just to say that this video is proudly sponsored by FS Academy and they are providing a new series of tutorials called FS Commander which is now available for PC and Xbox users. Imagine trying to land on the Hudson with no engines, experience hazardous weather conditions and random engine failures. All of these mission packs are designed from a real world pilot and expect an incredible and immersive experience. So all of the links for FS Academy will be in the description below. So here we are using virtual desktop without Steam VR. That's a big deal. And in fact, this is not just for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It can also be used with a full range of OpenXR integrated apps such as DCS World. Now this won't be a full setup guys simply because it may change next week but at the moment all you need to do is install the beta version by navigating to your store page in your virtual desktop on the Meta website. Make sure you're logged in of course and then you can change it from live to beta and then you'll need to manually install the beta streamer app. And as you can see here, I've changed my OpenXR runtime from automatic to VDXR. I'm also using the AV1 10-bit Quest 3 codec because I have a 40 series graphics card, which means I can take full advantage of those dual encoders. And the result is absolutely spectacular. There is very minimal artifacting and the sort of crisp textures to the horizon just look even better than before. Also I've noticed that the performance using VDXR, which is by the way virtual desktop using OpenXR, has given me back at least five to seven frames per second. And in VR, as you know, that's a big deal. So I'll just show you my current virtual desktop settings. I'm not sure if they're gonna be very useful to you since I am running a 4090, but I am um, sort of collating all of this information and I'm going to give you a comprehensive Quest 3 setup guide for MSFS and DCS World in the near future. But as you can see here, hopefully from these image, and you can see also by the overlay, which I recorded from the headset itself, that the performance is pretty damn good. and I've noticed, as I say, the image quality is absolutely superb. Now, in terms of the OpenXR toolkit, I am actually overriding the resolution, and I do feel you still need to do this to get anywhere close to the Reverb G2 in terms of the crispness of that display. And even then, it doesn't really beat it. However, you do benefit from those excellent pancake lenses, which are the best I've ever seen, and I truly mean that. So this is also applicable, not just to the Quest 3, but the Quest 2, the Pico 4, but I think you do need to download an APK at the time of recording, and also, of course, the Quest Pro, which I know many users on the channel enjoy. And the upshot of this, well, it just means less bloatware, more performance, and better visuals, all for free. And by the way, in case you're wondering, I have now used this in DCS World. I'll just show you some shots now of me landing the F-18 on the carrier using the DOF Reality H2. And I could see a lot further out, which makes a huge difference, of course, when you need to be pin sharp accurate with your carry landings. <laughs> but overall, I think this is a fantastic addition, especially because wireless PC VR in many ways is the future we just need to get to the same quality as we can with a native pc vr headset please let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this thank you so much for watching as always please feel free to subscribe and i'll see you again very soon bye bye for now